Hey everyone, Vincent here, and today in this video tutorial, we're going to be focusing on how to recreate and reconstruct this scene of my cinematic particles animation. I call this scene particularly the organic wave sequence or a scene. And basically it's because you see the nice organic wave, the fiery look, and the particles flying around. I got a lot of requests on this video tutorial, so I'm finally going to do it. And of course I'll be showing you the core structures and the basic core on this animation. And the main reason for creating this video tutorial is to expand your mind on track good form in the trap code form tutorial series that I'm making right now. So basically, we won't be recreating it exactly, but I'll show you the ins and outs and the basic structure on how to recreate this. And hopefully it'll get you through and you'll learn something in After Effects on trap code form. So let's get started with this video tutorial. This is what it's gonna look like when we finish. So as you see, we're flying through the particles and the particles are hitting our camera and we're flying through and the organic wave is also hitting the camera. We get a nice fiery look and it's a pretty interesting and simple scene. So with further ado, let's get started with this video tutorial. I'm going to create a new composition, composition, new composition, and we're going to name this composition organic wave. Now my composition setting is set to pretty low. The width and height is 640 by 360 because this process and this animation will require a lot of rendering on your CPU. So it's going to be pretty intensive on your CPU. So just keep that in mind. And it's at 15 seconds long. But of course you can change the preference to whatever you want. Hit OK. And now let's create a new solid layer. So Control or Command Y to bring up the solid settings. And we're just going to name this solid form. Make sure it's at comp size and hit OK. So now we have a blank composition with a form layer. We're going to go to the effects and presets panel and search in form under trap code. Now if you don't see this plugin it's because you're probably a beginner and you don't realize that trap code form is a paid third party plugin. So you're, you're going to need to pay in order to receive this plugin. So by default you're not going to find trap code form in After Effects. You're not going to find the demo of After Effects. You're not going to find trap code form unless you pay for it. And you can pay for it at trackcode.com or redgiantsoftware.com. Keep that in mind. We're going to drag form in into the form layer. So we get a basic grid of particles. We're going to create a new camera, so let's go to Layer, New, Camera. And we're just going to name this thing Camera and select a pretty wide lens, maybe a 24 millimeter, and make sure that Enable Depth of Field is unchecked because that's going to be even more intensive. And we can always turn that on after we finish. So hit OK. So as we observe, trap code form is pretty simple. It's only three layers of grids, and it's pretty simple as you see pretty simple and so let's get started with this video tutorial let's go down to the form layer and we're just gonna mess around with the base form right now basically we want a horizontal grid layer we don't want any vertical layers or anything like that we want a nice flat floor grid so we need to rotate this thing 90 degrees let's go to the X rotation and change it from 0 to 90 degrees just like that we have our particle grids in a nice flat surface we're going to see, you see how we have three grids right here. We only need one. So let's go to the particles in Z and change this to one. Now it's pretty small, so we're going to need to expand on this. So right now you see that we have 70 particles in the size of X and 70 particles in the size of Y. Well, if we're going to expand the size in X and expand the size in Y to make it bigger, it makes sense to increase the particles in X also, as well as the particles in Y. Because by default, we have that many particles in the, that amount of size. But if we're going to increase the size, we're going to need to increase the number of particles in that size to evenly enlarge this thing. So right now, your compositions look similar to this right here. Just a massive amount of particle grids right here. I'm not looking at anything fancy right now. So we're going to scroll down and change that. So let's go to the particles tab. We're going to change the sphere feather to about 10. We don't want it too feather at all. We want it pretty smooth and crisp. And we're going to change the color to a relatively dark golden orange. Because we're in additive mode, things are going to be added on top of each other to enhance the brightness. So we're going to select a nice golden orange color. Just like that, looking really great. Let's move down to the fractal field right here. And this is where all the magic and displacement happens. Make sure that your effects and size is set to one. 
you know, effect opacity set to one. So basically our effect with field is going to affect our side and our opacity. And now it's time for the fun. Let's just pull up the displacement. And as you see, you already have a nice organic wave thing going on right here. Now, of course, you see our particles are kind of breaking apart. So let's go back up to the particles in the X and Y. And let's just increase that by maybe 10. So just pull it up a little bit. So they start filling it into a nice smooth grid texture. And if you scrub through this, it actually animates by itself with the evolution. So everything animates fine. We just need to anim animate the camera. So we're flying through everything and everything's hitting our camera. So let's select our camera and hit P on the keyboard and we're gonna hit a stopwatch for the position in the beginning and go to the end and go ahead and animate this. So right now we're at the beginning of the grid of the wave. We wanna animate all the way through. So of course you can hit C until you get to the track Z space tool right here with the two arrows on the north and south of this little icon right here. And you can always scroll through it. You can hold down shift to scroll a little bit faster. But basically, essentially, you just fly through it. So just click and drag upwards until you fly completely through everything. And as you see, we're under the particles most of the time. We want to center this up so we're actually hitting the camera with our particles. So hit C again until you reach this tool where there's like four arrows on each of the major primary coordinates and um, we're just going to pull it up and center it up so just right there move the particles pretty much in the center of your screen so when you're flying through you're actually hitting the camera with the particles just like this really nice looking and just like that if we ram preview this we're actually flying through the organic wave so as you see, our animation consists of us flying through organic wave. Pretty simple enough. Now that's the basic core structure on how to recreate this scene. Basically, I taught you how to recreate the grid and how the waves look and pretty much how to animate the camera. All you need to do now is actually make the grid look good. So let's proceed to that. We're going to add a nice fancy glow. Under stylize, just drag that in. And by default, that's not looking so great. So we're going to decrease the threshold just a little bit. Basically, play around with these settings to get what you're looking for. I'm going to increase the radius a little bit. And then decrease the intensity. It's too bright. Aim for a nice fiery look. That's looking great. Now we can also apply Shine, part of the track with Suite, another third-party plugin that you should have gotten with Form. Drag that to the Form layer. And this looks like a mess right now, but of course we need to go to the transfer mode and set it to add. So basically it's going to add the shine to what we already have, which is our particles. We're going to change the source point right here. So we get our shine shining above. Somewhere around there. And we're going to lower down the ray length. We don't want it that bright. We just want a little bit hovering over the particles like an atmosphere. And we're going to go down to the colorize and change the colors a little bit. Change the shadows to a nice hot orange. And then change the midtones to somewhere between white and a nice dark orange. So maybe a medium tint of orange. Just like that. And of course, play around with your boost light. That's already looking pretty good. We can go further in by color correcting this. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Layer, new, adjustment layer. We're going to enter and call it CC, which stands for color correction. And we're going to drag this layer underneath the camera for organization purposes. And basically what a adjustment layer does is it affects all the layers underneath it. So anything underneath the CC layer it's going to be affected by the effects and filters applied to this layer. So let's apply a nice curve, search and curve, and drag it into the adjustment layer. We're going to add a little contrast boost just to give it some more heat. Something like that. And we can apply a nice hue and saturation and saturate it a little bit. And 
and maybe even pull in the levels if that's needed. Just play around with things until you make it look pretty nice and decent. Now, now our wave is looking pretty good now. Now, but in our original demonstration and in my preview, I had little bits of fire flying around. Of course, I used live footage from Astro Essentials 2. I used a nice flame as a custom particle and set the custom particle as my particle in particular. And so basically, I have a whole bunch of little flying video footage of fire flying around as by particles. Of course, you can always use a regular particular for this. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's hit Control Command Y, create a new solid called Particular, and let's search in Particular, another paid plugin from the Truckwood Suite, and we're gonna solo it for now. So our camera's flying through all this pretty fast. So we need to make the emitter size a box. So they emit at a box instead of a single point. Change the particles to about 18. We don't need so many particles flying around. And increase the emitter size in X so they emit at a pretty wide area. And increase the Z space to about 3000 because we're flying through this pretty intensely. So we just get particles being emitted everywhere. We want to move it up a little bit so position X, Y move it up a little bit because we don't want any particles underneath our wave, we just want it in the air. And pretty much set the pre-run to 100 so they start instantly. Go down to the particles tab, change the life to 6 seconds so they last a little bit longer. Sphere feather to about 30. Change the color to a nice hot orange. like that and then maybe change the opacity over life and select a nice little curve right here so basically they fade in stay opaque and then they're gonna fade out pretty simple of course apply the nice classic glow to this drag it in play around with that we can unsolo it now and place our particular layer underneath our color correction so our color correction affects our particular layer and our form layer so everything's nice and sharp and nice and warm and fiery so just like that we created a pretty simple but easy animation that looks really really good so see we have our ember bits flying around up here and we have our grid right here now you may want to play around with the particular size and x so let's go back up to particular and just increase the X a little bit to make it a little bit wider. And that should be good. Ram preview this. And it's looking pretty sweet. We're flying through our particles and we're flying through our organic wave. Everything's hitting the camera. Of course, you can make this better by enabling depth of field. So, you know, some places of the particle will be out of focus and some part will be in focus. Pretty simple effect. Play around with the depth of field. Color correct a little bit better than I did. And hopefully you learned something in this video tutorial. And this is a pretty basic one. I tried my best to slow down on this video tutorial. Be sure to leave comments and response below. And hopefully check out my other video tutorials. And be sure to leave comment requests because I am losing ideas for video tutorials. So just leave requests under there in the comments or PM me in my YouTube channel. But thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you learned something in this video tutorial. And hopefully you can recreate this on your own pretty easily. And hopefully I've expanded your mind on how you can use form in an animation. So pretty cool animation right here as you see. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.